Alright guys, welcome to another episode of Stone and Sleepy. I'm Stoned. I'm Sleepy, what's up? And today guys, we are going to give you our top picks for the new Super Smash Bros. coming out for the Switch. Are you excited? Is that a rhetorical? Yeah, it's not not at all what I intended, for real. I don't have my my picks even planned out. I'm going to go off of my... <laughs> off of your memory, nothing else, so... Alright, uh, so... I'll do my best. My number 10 is absolutely 100% Peppy Hair from Star Fox 64. I think that his moveset could be like Fox's, but he'd be heavier and slower and stronger. Like, kind of like Wolf in Brawl, but like, with a more similar blaster to Fox's. And he'd have a higher jump than Falco even, or would he? No, 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 he'd be heavy. Like, maybe the rabbit jump could be like his recovery move, because <laughs> God knows lighting yourself on fire makes sense. What would his final smash be? Landmaster! <laughs> I think it, it should be him piloting the corn area. And you shoot at the screen, snake style. Corneria is the, is the thing from the first level of Star Fox 64. Piloting the Great Fox. <laughs> Piloting the Great Fox. Piloting an R-Wing, perhaps. No, the Great Fox. <laughs> the Great Fox. Because the R-Wing... The Corneria. <laughs> this guy. Pe 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 he was, uh, like, ranked... Or what do you call it? Promoted. He was promoted to general in Assault, so that's canonical. He, he piles the, the the salt's not canonical. Uh, was at one point, but I guess zero is a rewrite. Yeah, zero is okay. So this is the story of sixty four, but in greater detail. Um. So, my number nine is fucking bring back ice climbers, dude. <laughs> Like, for real, everybody loves getting wobbled, you know? Fucking, they grab you, and they tap the A button repeatedly, and Nana hits you with the hammer while Popo does the beat-down thing. I would love to see the Ice Climbers come back because of how unique they were. And even though I hated them when I first saw them in Melee, I've really come to grow. Or, they've really come to grow on me. I, uh... Significantly. I didn't play Melee until after I had played Brawl, and, um... I gotta tell you, fighting against Ice Climbers players was bullshit. Straight up bullshit. It was the worst. <laughs> uh, but I loved playing as them because they felt cheap, and my brother could never get past me. So yeah, bring them back. Yeah, I'm sure they would ha they would work some kind of a balancing thing out at this point. It's it's a big enough problem with the Ice Climbers that they know about it. All right, uh, number seven. I want Paige from Beyond Good and Evil. He's a pig with jet boots. Yeah, and he can fart. And he can fart. And he uh, also is willing to take on jellyfish head on. He's got the wrench. He's got the wrench. The wrench pliers. <laughs> Baseball bat. Yeah. All in one. And, and he gives Jade the confidence she needs to do the things. And he gives her a boost. Yeah. Is she even he affectionately refers to him as Uncle Paige. She so, calls him an old fart, too. <laughs> that was a great, great, great game. I wish we could finish it. All right, and um, number six is Raz from Psychonauts. Because, like, th that was a great moveset that developed for him. Like, immediately after I had gotten all the moves, I was like, this would translate excellently into Super Smash Bros. You know, it's like, a platform and collect-a-thon, right? So you have a bunch of moves that are for, like, propelling yourself upward and different attacks and attack variations. And, like, it was cool. It was awesome. What are we talking about? Uh, Raz, number six. Oh, fuck, yeah, Raz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he would have a lot of shit that he could do. Uh, aside from Psychonauts being cool, and I think I'd be more excited for the stage than playing as Raz. <laughs> but, I don't know. It's, it's it's just daydreaming. It's just daydreaming. What would the stage even be? Raz's mind? Yeah, that, uh, would, that would be no, the stage be the representing camp. him. It would be the camp. Oh, yucky poo-poo. Nuh-uh. has it, to it be would inside be the, of a mind. It would be the... You don't understand. It would be Velvetopia. No, 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 no. 
Dude, a Psychonaut stage would be inside of a mind. It would be Velvetopia inside that rock star painter's mind. I would take that for sure. I think the most iconic would be would be the, the thorny forest of darkness that's inside of Rez's mind. What about the board game of where, where dudes fight against his great-great-great-uncle Napoleon on, well, on a D&D map? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, you could do all, a, the, all of them. The Milkman <laughs> stage. It'd be ridiculous. The Milkman stage. The Milkman stage would be a good choice, too. It's, it's weird. It's funny. Uh, and number five is Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil 4. Because oh, yeah. he's the coolest, most badass thing since sliced bread. He's got a knife. He can kick shit. He's got so many guns. Remote mines, different types of grenades, different types of, of um, well, guns. <laughs> maybe like... Guns and grenades and remote bombs like Snake. Maybe like he has a set amount of herbs that he can use, or like first aid sprays he can use. Or maybe first aid sprays could be an item. That would be cool. First aid sprays is an item. Well... Uh, how, well, well, would you have, like, one per life or, so, or something? No, I mean, like, in a, as an item in the game. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, oh. Well, you Fight know. a first aid spray, and you can spray it on your teammate if you're in team battles, or you can spray it on yourself, or you can accidentally spray it on your opponent. Funky healing items are a little little weird to, to work with, because when you see a healing item, you just want to run up and grab it and be done with it. <laughs> the fairy bottle, the fairy bottle in Smash 4 doesn't really stroke for me, man. I don't like it that much. Alright. Number four is is um, Nightmare from Soul Calibur 2. Because... <laughs> well, that's the game that I'm playing right now. <laughs> because, I mean, Link was in Soul Calibur 2 on the GameCube version anyway. And he fought Nightmare. And I think Nightmare is pretty badass. Um, he would be the main character at this point. Yeah, and he's, like, got Soul Edge and shit. In the first Soul Calibur game he was in, it was, like, jean or Max here, or, or, or Kubrick or something, but, like, he, he's the character that the series has focused on. Like, all the shit's happening in the Nightmare. Yeah. Siegfried, however you want to pronounce that name. I'm not sure how you say it correctly. It, it's Siegfried. Have you? Siegfried. It, it's German. Siegfried. <laughs> Siegfried. Siegfried. <laughs> uh, so number three am I on three? yeah you're on three number three is Sigma from Mega Man X because he's he's had so many forms he's got that robot dog he was a polygonal sword one time and, and he was a polygonal face one time and he's in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite and we need more bad guys that are heavyweights. I mean, what's heavier than a giant fucking robot? <laughs> yeah, we don't have any giant robots now, do we? Although, I want Porky. But, you know, any giant robot would be cool, I guess. Hey, when you come up with your top ten, you let me know, man. Because you're next after I finish this. Ready or not. I'm just going to blast them out. Number two is Chunky Kong from Donkey Kong 64. Because Chunky Kong... Like I said, we need more heavyweights, and he can pick up a boulder with relative ease. Makes and, crushing <coughs> rock seem like such a breeze. And he, he's so strong, it isn't funny to make a Kremlin cry out for mummy. Huh. Huh. <laughs> but but, Kong. But seriously, he's got that, like, badass wind-up punch, and he can turn invisible and shit. And then my number one pick for Super Smash Bros. for Switch is, drumroll. Wave dashing drumroll. Wave dashing drumroll. Say it. Sans from Undertale. I mean, come on. Who doesn't want to play as that fun-loving jokester with the blue hoodie that loves his brother and loves 
puzzles, you know? I still haven't seen the Battle of the Sand, so I don't know what he does. What are you talking about? Uh, I'm assuming there's a battle. Maybe I'm wrong. This guy, assumptions. He thought you had to fight Undyne. <laughs> uh, okay, just keep it going, just keep it going. Oh, and his first time he killed Toriel. Oh yeah, that was that was the that was the drop for the game for me. That was the moment. And uh, um, so that's my top ten honorable mentions. I hope Young Link gets back in as a palette swap for Toon Link. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> your your top ten and one honorable mention, dude. So, my top ten. Let's <coughs> go for it. Banjo Kazooie, Neku from the World Ends with You. Banjo Kazooie from Banjo Kazooie. Uh, Amaterasu from Okami, uh, uh, Skull Kid from Majora's Mask, and Midna from Twilight Princess. Um, uh, I want the Chozo from from Metroid, and uh, there's and four left. So there's five left technically. Yeah, you gotta have an honorable mention. Well, <laughs> at this point, ooh, Chrono from Chrono Trigger. Um. Oh fuck it, Darth Vader, man! I want, I want Darth Vader. No, I, it has to be a video want... game character. So I'm oh, not gonna put in Darth Vader. Darth Vader has been in video games and yeah, has been in Soul Calibur. Yeah, but he didn't originate from video games. Darth Vader is cool enough. <laughs> Anyways, um, that doesn't count. You have three more, and an honorable mention. Darth Vader is a movie character. Well, if I wanted to count, it's my list. Fine, fuck it, whatever. Top ten, dry bones. I'll just throw dry bones out there, and I'll 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 throw out Moosh from Oracle of Seasons, and um, all right, honorable mention. And I want to see, and I want to see Porky. I want to see Porky. Fuck masked man, Klaus. You don't need him. We need Porky. He's the real villain of the series. All right, so that's been our. Stone and Sleepy, Top 10, Smash Speculation. Happy April Fool's Day. I promise I'll come out with a real Top 10 sometime. <laughs> Bye. Oh, shit. <laughs>